Hello and welcome back to the Robotnik is Sexy Show. I really, um, am enjoying some Battle Spot. And, um, it's, it's actually pretty difficult to find Wi-Fi battles. <laughs> I wish it wasn't, but, you know, that is how it is. I have, I have like eight of these. Um, I'm not sure how long I can record, so I'm just gonna play as many as I can. This is the, the one, the last one I had last night, I think. Um... <laughs> Some of these are, like, really explosive matches. Um, and my opponent randomly has a very nice, uh... Is it nice? I don't know. The flower shirt? What do you, what do you even call that? So he's gonna leave the Tarantrum. Um... Now, this is a great lead, because I'm Lando T. I'm basically just using Zapdos and Lando T. And like Lysipod in most of these. Sometimes I do use Salazzle with uh, Zapdos and um, Lando. Sometimes I use Pex with Lando and Zapdos. It, it, it appears that my Toxic team uh, is really good in a battle spot format. Or decent enough. It is pretty whorish, okay? Lando T. I don't expect Lando T to be in Sword and Shield, so you might as well use it now, right? That's like the biggest joke ever, because of its usage rate. Anyway, so I, I do the Earthquake damage, it does a million, he switches out as I Stealth Rock, which is pretty perfect, and now I'm going to switch into Toxapex just for damage. I think he U-turns into Forfeit, I think? I think this guy forfeits immediately. I've never had a Battle Spot player forfeit, but he's going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. And go into Blastoise here. <clears throat> so, the, th the reason I picked Pex on the team is because I saw that Blastoise in team preview. For some reason, this uh, Blastoise is not um, Mega Evolving. So I'm going to hit it up with that Infestation, which means that it cannot switch out ever. Um, yeah, so uh, Blastoise will go for Scald. Does nothing. Uh, I think he does burn me, but now I land the toxic, and I think he just forfeits. After he realizes he cannot switch out, because um, <clears throat> that's the really cool thing about infestation and poison and protect or baneful bunker in this case. I don't. I don't remember if I even get to go for it. I think he just forfeits. But yeah, they're trapped in. They cannot switch. They're poisoned. Yeah, he just forfeits. So. So that's that match. <laughs> that's that match. Uh, pretty quick one, but yeah. Um, I think I was winning that one anyway. Now this is going to be a really interesting match with a Japanese passerby. Um, really cool Pokemon. For some reason, he was using a level 35 Jinx, but because Jinx always has a Focus Sash set, basically. I mean, it pretty much always has a Focus Sash set. Um, because of that. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, its level doesn't matter so much. It can kind of do the Aeron thing, sort of. I mean, it, it can't do the fear strategy at all, but, um, <clears throat> in the way that its level doesn't matter as much. So I go for the first impression. Jinx is going to give me a big sloppy kiss, and, uh, Glissopod will fall asleep. Um, yeah. I'm gonna burn some sleep turns, because in this uh, blessed generation, you usually get three. Um, so I want to burn a couple turns here. I actually stay in again, I believe, uh, and try to land an Aqua Jet, hoping for a two turn wake. Um, as my opponent has a Mega Evolving Pinsir, it is the Mega Pinsir who is super threatening. I remember this thing. Uh, absolutely tossing me around in X and Y. So, I don't wake up. It uses Sword Dance. Things are looking pretty bad, but... We have our boy, Defensive Zapdos, who, uh... really doesn't give a shit about, uh, Mega Pinsir. He SDs again. Um... Yeah, I think I just Roost, expecting him to hit me for as much damage as possible. I expected it to do roughly a third after two SDs, um, but he doesn't think it's worth it, so 
I'm gonna blow my turn roosting at full HP and then switch out as his um, what seems to be like gra or bug bug type um, Silvali is here. It it uh, goes for the Ice Fang and uh, wouldn't you know it, Lando T can take two, and we are. <laughs> Lando T is so fucking stupid. I will be glad when this thing is gone, but for the minute I am gonna use it. Because it is really good with Tox effects, and I am not sorry. Um, we are gonna go for Flying Z. Super Sonic Sky Skuskusk. Skuskusk. Super Sus. The Super Sus attack. Uh, we're gonna blow that thing straight to hell. Um, yeah. Bye bye! Uh, now Pinsir is here. Um, I'm very good. Um, uh, on saving this thing, because Intimidate later on would be super nice. Super nice. Um, <clears throat> so I will go to Zapdos, and, uh, he's gonna smack me with a return, which is, well, it does nothing, and I munch that leftovers, and things are looking pretty great. I'm gonna Volt Switch here, uh, and kill the Jinx, so that's really nice. I was really scared of Jinx for some reason. I mean, I guess this being asleep is a problem, but since it's level 35, I should be able to take hits from it with Glissopod, actually. So I could have just... Anyway, speaking of, yeah, I know that I'm probably going to wake up this turn, so I will Volt Switch into Glissopod and try to get some damage on Pinsir. I do wake up, we go for the Aqua Jet. Um, can I take a hit from Pinsir at plus zero? The answer is no. Uh, I wasn't at full, but yeah, maybe I would have lived on like really low red, but yeah, let's make a pincer and the aerial aid ability, but I can lower its attack with Intimidate, Fodder, Landris, and then get a very clean Zapdos win. Um, thing is, I'm faster than the pincer, so I go for the kill with Fly. How often can you say that? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we're gonna knock it knock it from the sky with a fly. We're gonna, yeah. It's good to see, because, uh, God, in X and Y, it was that and Talonflame on every team. And Mega Kangaskhan. And it was like, it was cool, but it was like, hey, could this hell stop? Alright, so this is... <laughs> We're gonna get some Alakazam now. This guy has a Mega Blaziken. Yet another Pokemon that's gonna get knocked off in Sword and Shield. I do not believe uh, Megas are coming back. Nor are, Z nor are Z moves. But when you Dynamax, you get Dynam you get the Super moves, which are basically Z moves, and a lot of them have, or maybe all of them have secondary effects. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um. I think Ludicolo will be able to use a water move that summons rain when it's in Giganto mode. That makes me hot. I want to see that. So turn one, we get up the spot of the Toxic Spikes, because that's what you do. Uh, his team is very grounded. Oh, by the way, I, <laughs> I lead versus his Blaziken, and he just swapped out. Um, he's going to go for a plus zero Earthquake. Doesn't do too much. I mean, like, it'll be a nice three hit KO. Solidly a three hit KO. Um, but other than that, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna, uh, kind of make a fool of this Gyarados, because we are going to get that nice poison stall. <laughs> Got no problems with poison stall, my boys. No problems. I mean, I'm not gonna run Toxic Protect on every member, because, you know, you only really, re you only really need to run it on, like, two members, I think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into Zapdos here, uh, bait out that Earthquake, get another turn of Toxic Damage, and heal Toxapex all in the same move, because of that Regenerator ability, which is super broken. Um, it is fun, but, you know, maybe if it healed a little less, if it healed a little less, uh, maybe, maybe that'd be alright, maybe like 22 instead of 33, but, uh, 
What, what can you say? Uh, game Freak is claiming to uh, be uh, balancing the game, which, um, I mean, it's possible. They could do it. Do I think it'll be effective? Mm, hard to say. Hard to say. So I'm going to make a super cool play here. He goes for the Rock Tomb, which, by the way, is a very pro move because uh, of the speed lowering and uh, all that. But I can raise my speed instantly by Mega Evolving into uh, Mega Alakazam or, um, or Super Alakazam. I won't be hit by the Sandstorm because I traced that Sandstream and my Psychic will be powerful enough to knock it out. Uh, except it isn't because we're dealing with Hippo Down here. Hippo Down is uh, what the kids call the goat. It's gonna munch that Agua Berry and um, yeah, it's gonna lower my speed more, which means I can't really stay in. Oh, I do get hit by Sandstorm. I lied. Sorry guys. Um, I think I will save Alakazam because, you know, Mega Alakazam is kind of broken, so you want to keep that around. We're going to go into Pex, who's also broken. The, the <laughs> My poison team is not a, it's not, it's not a making friends kind of team. No, it is not. So, um, yeah, um, I believe I get up a Toxic Spike on this man. Um, I believe. I want to say. He's just going to lower my speed. Oh, no. Oh no! We're going for the infestation. Um, and this is kind of cool because he didn't go for the slock off. He will die to infestation damage here and poison damage together. Uh, so yeah, I think that is a pretty clear illustration of how uh, poison and infestation are just, you know, they're pretty good, right? Like, they're pretty good. It's, it's not bad. In fact, it's quite good. So, this... <laughs> is this a solid way of ending the video? I think it might be. This poor Mega Blaziken, you guys. Um, I'm just going to Infestation on its Sword Dance and then Protect on it with um, my Baneful Bunker. And... Uh, well, Blaziken's just not going to have a good time. It's just not. Um... Yeah, so let's let's watch the carnage, shall we? Look at those little mites biting at its heels. Uh, you may be getting faster, but you got nowhere to go, Blaziken. You don't. You do not exist in a tier. Your existence will be wiped in Sword and Shield. You basically never got to be used unless you were a pure casual. Um, the life of Mega Blaziken is tough. He, he's gonna miss that high jump kick too. And go down to the infestation! Or, not quite, I think he has 1 HP, but yeah, look at that damage. We got the mist damage, the poison, and the, oh, we're gonna get the double bunker too! Just to rub it in. Ah, that's what I like to see. So he's gonna miss again, keep going, and crash. That's what the text says. He's, he's out of here, he crashed. Yeah, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I got plenty more replays of Battlespot uh, singles to go, and I hope you uh, will watch them. Uh, Alright. See ya.